Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're gonna be talking about the most complex throw in judo, in my opinion. So many variations to it, so many grips to it, as you will see. And we're gonna see a variation that used to happen in old jujitsu. Now, even back when leg grabs were allowed, this variation did not appear, or maybe it appeared uh, briefly or discreetly, but as far as I know, nobody has pulled it off even back in the day. So we're going to be talking about kataguruma. Yes, it's a throw that everyone knows. However, there is that one variation that barely anyone talks about. I've discussed it years ago, but for the sake of the growing audience, I will discuss it again. So in terms of um, etymology kata guruma it means shoulder and wheel so you are wheeling someone over the axis of the shoulders so the axis of the shoulders can be in four ways actually not just uh, one line so you see here you can actually be pinned and lifted upwards it's a hand technique that's very important to know that it is a hand technique so it's all with the hands, not with the hips or with the legs. The only use of the shoulder is to pin them to them. And then from there you can, depending on the ferociousness of the fight, sometimes, of course, just like a lot of throws, you need to throw yourself with your opponent in order to get a score. So it's a big lift up. This is the key. It's a big lift upwards and that what makes it a hand technique. And then here, just like a sword, you can sometimes go down on your knees or one knee and then cut them down over the axis of your shoulder remaining upright. You can, of course, go down with them, of course, to ensure a score. So here, for example, you see uh, in the old days goes down and then lifts up and throws and remains on his knees, remains upright, does not go over or roll with him. Here is Jimmy Pedro, does a very interesting entry to it. It's like a sode tsurikomi goshi, but then grabs the leg, goes up, lift up to his shoulders, and then somersaults forward to ensure a brilliant uh, score. Here, another one where he lifts up and stays upright even after throwing. That's very important for later. Now, this Kodokan DVD does not always show this variation I'm about to show you, and that is this one. And then they describe it as an um, entry of Moro Tegari, but yet you load onto the shoulder like a bag and then throws backward. This was done in the old days of Jiu Jitsu. So notice there is a big pickup on the shoulders, but it's on the perpendicular axis of the shoulder, not from shoulder to shoulder, but it's the perpendicular axis of the shoulder where you lift up kind of like you're putting a big rock on your shoulders or a big bag and then leaning their weight down. And then from there you dump, but instead of your side, you dump your opponent backwards. So it's a very interesting uh, variation and it's devastating to say the least because look at the margin of possibilities of your opponent, how they can fall down, can even fall down with them and just imagine the damage that can be done with this. So now Kataguruma, even in today's age, it's one of those throws that can be salvaged, meaning you can still create a big picturesque uh, throw. One of the best at it at this moment is Baruch Shmailov. You see here he pins, stays upright, and then what he does is he creates a big arch pinning his opponent and then goes down with them, lifting them up and goes down with them. So. Now here, this is where you see that it is a hand technique that he does and he does not sacrifice himself or does not need to do that because 
look he grabs pins the uh, sleeve to his shoulder and the torso of course and then does a 180 rotation which creates that momentum to actually get a huge lift without ever needing to touch the leg and then drops them down cuts them down like a sword and goes down with them now he can stay upright but because he got a big lift it's a hand technique 100 percent and then cuts down and remains on top he does not need to throw himself onto his back to finish it so here is very similar to jimmy pedro a sode tsurikomi goshi entry yet gets a big lift on the shoulders and then cuts down no need to he kind of touches the leg but no need to do that so the the ending of it uh, the, the entrances are very diverse and the ending can be diverse as well so it can be also the ending in a different technique and we're going to see that so mark Hausinger, olympic champion explains how you can do this without the leg he is one of the best to do this in the history of judo so he goes down he says that if you keep the shoulder pinned closely to your shoulder if you keep the sleeve pinned to your shoulder you don't need the leg this is from the superstar judo i highly recommend i'll leave a link in the description so here he explains that if they do a sprawl you actually roll over and do a crocodile roll which becomes a sutemiwaza so this is another part of the uh, kataguruma is the ending it can end in a different technique a sacrificing technique so here for example you just saw he used the uh sleeve to push on the stomach and lift upwards and ends up on them but here for example it starts as kataguruma but it ends in a yoko otoshi and here as well because in order he does not get a lift that's one thing does not lift with the hands and two he just drops and rolls on his back in order to finish the throw so this is not a hand technique it starts as kataguruma as they explain here in this old dvd so he goes in attempting kataguruma but then flattens himself out does not lift his opponent and ends with uki waza a sacrificing technique here is a competition example does not get a lift so what he does is rolls and flattens himself out in order to finish the throw unlike the older examples where if he does throw himself he remains on top so this happens with a lot of techniques not just kataguruma one example here is uh, ippon seoinage where they go to the side to avoid being lifted upwards so instead of lifting them up as in a hand technique he just rolls and flattens himself out like in uchi maki komi so this is a competition example where he goes for Ippon Seonage but just rolls over, does not lift. This is the key. If he does not lift and dumps someone either over their back like Seonage or shoulders like Kataguruma, it's a sacrificing technique. So this happens a lot, but you know, take it for its intention what they try to do in the beginning. It happens a lot with today's Kataguruma, myself included in competition. So instead of lifting up and dumping over the shoulders, uh, a lot of the times, since you cannot lift up, you roll and it becomes a sacrificing technique and not a hand technique. This is key. So a lot of today's quote kataguruma, they start as kataguruma, but end up as a sutemi waza. So if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. Check out the links in the description. This was Shadi and... Thank you for listening.